आर यू थिंकिंग ऑफ हाउ डू आई डू रिसर्च वॉट आर द स्टेप्स आई शुड फॉलो देन यू कम टू द राइट प्लेस डॉक्टर मुंशी नासन स्किल टोन चैनल Hello my dear learners in this video tutorial i'm going to discuss about the steps of research process for the beginners you know we quite often find it difficult to start our research and sometimes for writing report for writing assignment it is actually a general idea of starting any research process so let's get started i'm going to discuss this in less than 5 minutes time so bear with me and also i'm going to discuss a very interesting hypothesis idea as well so if you like my effort please subscribe okay now the research process starts with initial observation or research question okay so how do i start our initial observation by looking at the data us about what are the quantitative data types and what are the qualitative data types in the next tutorial but in this video we are going to discuss about how we can start our process so by looking at the data we can formulate our research question why we have to do it because we need to understand why this topic bothering us if this topic is not bothering us then there is no point of doing research right then after that data data observation we come to the uh, next step is called general theory you need to understand that we have to come up with a theory for instance we know that there is a inverse relationship between quantity demand and price in our law of demand right so it's kind of a general theory or law of demand or law for the economics so something like that we need to start with a theory right and then we can start a uh, general hypothesis like thinking about a statement of our research because we have a general theory so now it, it is it should be connected to our field of study so we need to start with the general hypothesis and then once we have our hypo hypothesis or a statement we will go to the collection of our data to test our theory okay and then next we go to the analyzing our data okay so in this step there are something that we have to consider alongside with that for instance general hypothesis when we talk about general hypothesis we are talking about identifying our variables i mean whether it is a dependent variable and independent variable in the next tutorial i'm going to discuss about identifying variable what are the types how we can formulate variables and all that then the next one is the collection of data in the collection of data we have we are we are meaning that measuring our variables so we, we have to quantify our variables if it is a quantitative data so there is no very big problem but if it is a qualitative data we have to code, code the data and then we have to make it in a measurable way so it is measurable variable that we are talking about and then finally we are analyzing our data so when we are analyzing data we are meaning that either we are descriptive statistics or making graphs of the data set or we can go for inferential statistics or fitting the model by doing some research uh, modeling like for instance regression and all that now these are the common research steps that we can follow to start our research we will discuss each and every step in our next video tutorial series now let's talk about an interesting hypothesis idea now my dear learners when is a hypothesis not a hypothesis interesting right so if we have a statement metallica were the most influential band ever you know metallica is a very famous band back in 2000 and this band in my statement we are talking about it is the most influential band ever this statement influential here in this word it is difficult and hard to quantify right in a state if we say that the metallica were the best selling band ever metallica were the best selling band ever now my dear learners it becomes testable we can collect data about worldwide record sales and establish whether the metallica have in fact sold more records than any other music artist carl hooper the famous philosopher of science once said that statements for instance this one the non scientific statement were nonsense and had no place in science good theories so should therefore produce hypotheses that are scientific statements so with that note i come to i come to conclude here 
We will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.